G'day everyone and welcome back to the dig site. This is a quick little video because I was just studying something for my geography exam today and I figured this would be a really good time to teach you guys about it. Now it's called the Milankovitch cycles and this area of study is basically about these three uh, cycles of the Earth's orbit around the Sun and uh, the way that the Earth changes in its shape and, the, and its movement around the Sun. So the first one is um, eccentricity. So eccentricity is basically, uh, well the Earth doesn't orbit the Sun in a perfect circle. It's uh, more like an oval shape and then it goes back to a circle, then it will go back to an oval the other way. It's not always in this perfect ring around the sun, as you commonly see it in uh, not just movies, but general media posters and stuff like that for kids. So eccentricity will last for about 100,000 years so between each changes in, in the eccentricity of the Earth's orbit. So um, you could have an eccentricity of the Earth where it's really far away from the Sun in this big oval shape and one end of the oval of its orbit is really close to the Sun, the other end is all the way far away from the Sun. I'm going to put up a little picture now so that you can see what I'm talking about. And um, you'll see the Earth is over here on the right, okay? Um, and this is like the furthest from the Sun that the Earth will get, okay? This is the furthest eccentricity. Um, it'll take about 100,000 years for it to complete an eccentricity cycle, uh, an, oh, sorry, an eccentric cycle. Um, and basically, when it's in this spot, obviously, it's going to be at its coldest temperature. I mean, it's furthest away from the sun. So this is generally where, you know, your uh, glacial maximums and stuff like that happen, your ice ages. Um, but then it will come all the way back around and it will get really close to the, to the sun and it will start heating up. Now, if you want evidence for climate change and global warming and you're, you know, having an argument with someone about it, um, we are currently heading towards that area on the right, the furthest eccentricity, okay, which means we're going into another ice age in probably the next thousand years or so. Um, so you would imagine that we would start to really start cooling down, seeing, you know, it, it, it's going to be, of course, it's going to be very, very gradual. It's not going to be, you know, sudden snow blizzards and ice everywhere, um, but it is very gradual. Uh, but we should still be experiencing some slightly slower temperatures, uh, lo so slower, lower temperatures every year, and we're not, which is the problem. Um, instead, the temperatures are going up, which completely goes against the Milankovitch cycle and shouldn't be happening. The reason it's happening is because it's not natural. It's uh, human-induced uh, climate change. I'm not going to go on a rant about climate change. I've already done that on this channel. All right, next up is actual tilt. Now, this is the second of the, of the three Milankovitch cycles. Um, most people will know this, although some might not. The Earth does not sit perfectly upright. If you've ever seen, like, when you have a globe or something to look at, uh, uh, the Earth is tilted. It's about 21 or 24 degrees at any given time uh, off its axis. So because of that, there's always going to be one polar of the Earth closer to the Sun than the other. Uh, uh, but that's what actual tilt is. So every 41,000 41, years or so, um, the Earth will uh, uh, tilt around on its pole. It's hard to really explain and convey like this, but it, imagine that this is like the, the actual polar of the Earth. If the Earth was upright, this would be the top, right? Instead, it's like this. So it will go around and around and around because, it, you know, it's rotating because it's um, rotating on its tilt, on its axis. Uh, it's not rotating. I'm not talking about the Earth's actual rotation. I'm talking about the actual rotation of the Earth. Um, the axial rotation of the Earth. But yeah, so every 41,000 years or so, it will reach the opposite end of that axial tilt. And um, that's another way you can see a, a global warming and climate change will be caused naturally. Um, that's just nature's way of sort of creating climate change by putting one end of the Earth sort of closer to the sun. And then you'll get, you know, you might get a, a, a climactic optimum. Or you could get a, a glacial maximum, depending on which end is the, is the furthest and the closest. I believe during um, during the Ice Age, the last glacial maximum, which was 50,000, 60,000 years ago, um, the uh, northern polar ice caps were the furthest away from the sun. They were on that end of the actual tilt. Uh, and it was also in, in the other end of the eccentricity of, of the Earth's orbit. And so, you know, you've got a pretty big ice age happening there. And um, the lower polar caps and stuff, they were really close to the sun. They were much closer to the sun. And so that's why you sort of see those, those uh, ice caps de uh, descending across the Earth from the north. And um, the southern areas of the Earth weren't really very cold. Uh, in fact, Australia got off pretty, pretty easily. I don't think we really saw any ice or snow. Um, there were land bridges, though. Australia was much bigger. 
uh, all the northern continents, you know, northern Asia, northern Europe, northern America, they were all ice, covered in ice. So this next one, uh, to me at least, is really interesting. This is um, precession. Uh, precession is basically uh, wobble. The earth wobbles like that. Um, it's because that's the, the reason for that is because it's being pulled by, uh, you know, uh, other planetary, other uh, solar system objects. You got Jupiter, which is having a, a pretty minor impact on the Earth, but it's still big enough to have a gravitational impact on it. The Moon, uh, which has a very powerful one, and the Sun, which has a very powerful one as well. So you've got these, these you know, the three big, the three core uh, uh, celestial objects in the solar system having these, this gravitational pull on our planet, and uh, it wobbles it like that because it's getting, it's like a tug of war. It's getting pulled around by all these different planets. Um, sorry, well, the Sun, the Sun isn't a planet, and neither is the Moon, so. It's really just Jupiter. <laughs> that was a bad description, I'm sorry. But it's getting pulled by all these different objects, these gravitational objects, and um, uh, obviously, you know, Jupiter and the Sun are much larger than the Earth, and I mean, the Moon is about you know, a quarter of the size of the Earth. So this wobble uh, takes about 26,000 years. Um, so precession is 26,000 years, eccentricity is 100,000, and uh, what the hell was the other one that I mentioned? Not obliquity, that's a different thing. Actual tilt. Why couldn't I think of that? I'm an idiot. That takes 41,000 years. So, if you're doing this for a test or something, you just need to know how long they take. Um, it's, the, the titles are kind of descriptive, you just need to kind of use logic to figure out what they would actually do. Eccentricity takes 100,000 years. It is the orbit around the sun, the Earth's orbit around the sun. It extends and then it retracts and then it extends. It's very weird, it's not a circle. It looks more like a weird oval sometimes, and other times it looks like an egg. Uh, then you've got actual tilt, which takes uh, 41,000 years, and that is just the way the Earth it, it, uh, rotates on its tilt, on its axis, sorry. Um, and that takes uh, 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 41,000 years. Yeah. Doesn't it? Did I, didn't I just say that? If I said it just then, um, eccentricity takes 100,000 years, okay? Actual tilt takes 41,000. And then you've got precession, which is the uh, wobble, the Earth's wobble. So you've got tilt, wobble, and um, well, eccentricity. I don't know how else to, to describe it. Uh, orbit, I guess. Orbit, tilt, and wobble. You could maybe use that to kind of remember them. Um, but yeah, the wobble takes uh, 21,000 years. Sorry, 26,000 years. Um, I, if this video was helpful, uh, let me know. I might do another one because this was very rushed. Uh, do it a bit better. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.